The first Audi Q5 made a name for itself as a baby Q7, hitting a Goldilocks zone in the crossover segment and challenging BMW, Mercedes-Benz, and Lexus for supremacy in what would become one of the luxury market's most important segments. The Q5 is already Audi's best-selling vehicle globally, underscoring its importance to the German brand. Like its predecessor, the second-generation Q5 takes the Q7's looks and tech, then distills it into a smaller package. But unlike the Q7, the Q5 doesn't look quite so dowdy in its redesigned body. We'll attribute it to the smaller front and rear overhangs, which keep the Q5 looking like a crossover instead of a high-riding wagon. The face is mostly a carbon copy of the Q7s with a prominent grille featuring a silver surround and flanked by a set of clean, stylish headlights. In back, the smaller Rowdy gets more expressive taillights that harken back to the first-generation model and their lighting signature. We aren't really sure what Audi was going for with its two-tier rear bumper, but it doesn't work and is inarguably the worst piece of an otherwise fashionable design. Aside from restyling the Q5's body, Audi managed to both expand it in every direction and trim nearly 200 pounds of body fat through a mix of maximum tensile strength steel and aluminum. Audi is also promising an impressive aerodynamics gain for the new body. The company's engineers slashed the coefficient of drag from 0.33 to 0.30. That should mean a quieter and more efficient drive. Like the Q7. The new Q5 benefits from Audi's push into advanced driver information systems. It gets the 12.3-inch TFT display, also known as Virtual Cockpit, on top of the 8.3-inch MMI display atop the center stack. MMI takes a page from Apple with its personal root assist. Much as CarPlay will automatically display how long it takes you to get home, Audi's new system can study an owner's behavior and suggest the best route to a given spot. Navigation and 